Alright YouTube, DJ Fedora here with We Are Everywhere, and today my family and I are taking an adventure in the Fort Worth Water Gardens. Now a lot of you may not know about the Fort Worth Water Gardens, but it's a beautiful little park, smack dab in the middle of downtown Fort Worth. The area is really beautiful, well kept, well maintained, and it's a great place to have a family afternoon. Now the area we're going into now is called the aerated water pool and it's called that for a specific reason. The water literally fires everywhere and it's aerated into the atmosphere. And if you look just right at certain times you can catch little rainbows in the water just like that. It's a beautiful little spot to sit and kind of just contemplate things and think about what's going on in your life. This is the area known as the mountain, and it's a wide open, vast, cemented in area that is literally got about a 50 to 75 foot tall mountain right in the middle of it. And everybody climbs on it, even though you're not supposed to. But it's a great place to just kind of walk around, and a lot of people do. They bring their pets to the park, they walk around, they look at all the cool little water features, and they just relax and spend a good afternoon with each other. Now this next area of the water gardens is known as the active pool and it's the centerpiece of the entire park which the park itself was built in 1974 by noted New York architects Philip Johnson and John Burgey. This part of the park was considered to be so futuristic, in fact, it was used in the movie Logan's Run in 1975. One of my favorite parts of the active pool is actually descending down these steps to the very bottom and listening to the water rushing down the walls around you it's actually a very majestic and humbling experience as you can feel the strength and the power of these millions of gallons of water just pouring around you all at once A sock is drowning in the water. Someone's sock is not going to make it back. It's a tragedy. Now as you leave the active pool in the mountain area, you proceed to a little hidden alcove, little pathway behind it. And what you find as you go around the corner is actually a little amphitheater area and it's known as the stage and you'll often find groups of people performing here uh, individuals or even sometimes like comedy troops and stuff trying to practice their routines and uh, sets it's really impressive knowing that all around you is just these massive skyscrapers of downtown and then right here in the middle of Fort Worth is this beautiful little area Now after descending down the stairway of the stage, you're going to come around a corner and find another set of stairs leading down into a ravine. And as you come down into it, you come into the area known as the Quiet Pool. And the Quiet Pool is just simply a very large reflecting pool 
that you can sit and just enjoy the quietness that the natural barrier of the walls create between you and the hustle and bustle of the city. But what's interesting about the quiet pool is how nature has actually come and made her own decorations within it. You can see these roots from the trees actually sprouting up and out from the ground area of these really majestic evergreens and this lines the entire area of the quiet pool and really gives it a unique kind of serene appearance. And now as me and the family walk up the stairs out of the quiet pool area, we make our way slowly back to the entrance of the water gardens and call it a day. Now, keep in mind that the Water Gardens isn't your typical type of family park. There's no swing sets, there's nothing for the kids to really get into and play on, and you're not supposed to get into the water. But aside from that, the Water Gardens in Fort Worth is just a great little area for families to go and be together, enjoy the day, bond, and really just have some fun. And as we bring our day to a close here in Fort Worth and head back home, don't forget that we aren't anonymous, but we are everywhere. And until we see you guys again, we bid thee farewell. Good night. <laughs>